In this edition of Audible P News, a call for witnesses to an aerial tragedy, sea wind sweeps the mayoral elections, and a local student is flying high. Hello, I'm Katie Sharp. Welcome to the latest edition of Audible P News, bringing you stories from across Frankston and the Mornington Peninsula. Following a tragic plane crash in Port Phillip Bay last Sunday, Victoria Police and Port Authorities have reportedly found human remains. After locating wreckage from the plane on Monday, searches on Wednesday are believed to have found the missing occupants of the plane, 56-year-old pilot Stephen Gale and 30-year-old camera operator James Rose. The light S211 Marchetti plane owned by Gale crashed into the bay near Mount Martha last Sunday after colliding with another plane at around 1.45pm. Investigators are working to establish the exact circumstances of the incident. They believe the planes would have been visible from Mount Martha between 1pm and 2pm last Sunday, the 19th of November. Police are keen to speak to anyone who witnessed the incident or who has footage or information. They are urged to contact Crime Stoppers. The Mornington Peninsula Council has a new mayor and deputy mayor, and both are from the Seawinds Ward. Councillor Simon Brooks was voted in as mayor and long-serving councillor Antonella Celli, who was elected in 2010, is the new deputy mayor. Mayor Brooks represented the Seawinds Ward from 2016 to 2020 and again from 2023. Coming from a background of building and design, the new mayor said he is committed to driving positive and sustainable change. The Mornington Peninsula is an amazing place to live with so much potential. That's why it's important that we look forward we advocate, we innovate, we collaborate, we partner, we embrace change and we seize opportunities as we work with our community to place this Shire in the best position for the future. A stabilisation and clean-up process has begun for several businesses that were closed following a fire last month in Main Street, Mornington. The fire destroyed the newly opened Colt Dining Restaurant and shut down surrounding businesses including Miller's Bakery and Brass Razoo. Main Street will remain closed to vehicles between the Esplanade and 17 Main Street to ensure pedestrian safety. The Council will reassess the area on Monday. The Dolphin Research Institute has announced the birth of a common dolphin calf from mother of four, V-Nick. She had her first calf in 2012 and her recent birth is her fifth. What is remarkable by human standards is that her second child had her own calf in February, making V-Nick's fifth baby younger than her grandchild. Typically, common dolphins are found in open oceans, yet both calves were born in Port Phillip Bay. This is the only recorded common dolphin population living in a shallow, urbanised environment. A local Frankston High School student is flying high after crushing the competition at the 2023 World Age Trampoline Championships in Birmingham, England. Performing in the men's under-17 event, Brock Batty delivered an impressive performance to take out the top spot and Australia's first gold medal of the event. Gymnastics Australia quoted Brock as describing the win as the best feeling in the world. And the Frankston Arts Centre is inviting everyone to treat themselves in 2024. They've launched their 2024 season, the theme of which is Treat Yourself. The program is a mix of theatre, music, comedy and circus, with something for every member of the family. Members of the Frankston Arts Centre can access an exclusive pre-sale now, while tickets go on sale to the general public on Tuesday the 5th of December. After the break, we have Bianca with the weekly weather update. Everyone knows Australia has four big banks, but the fifth biggest retail bank is snapping at their heels. It's a bank that's been around for over 160 years, can be found in over 500 locations nationwide, looks after over 1.8 million customers, and is regularly voted one of the most trusted brands out of all the thousands of brands in Australia. Who is this fantastic number five? Yep, it's Bendigo Bank. The Better Big Bank. Established in 1988, Progress Science has been servicing the local community for 30 years. Located on the Mornington Peninsula, they are the number one destination for all your signage needs. Specialising in a variety of signage from vehicles to shop fronts, occasional and corporate events, short term, long term and everything in between. If it's signs you need, be it large or small, Progress Signs is the place to call. Available 24-7 at progress-signs.com.au or call the team on 5975 9188. Thinking Signs? Think Progress Signs. 
a station sponsor. Battery World now open in Mornington. We know batteries. We know our 75 D23Ls from our DIN 65 LHs. And we know which is best for you. We have the range and a spark no one else can match because we live and breathe batteries. Those beautiful boxes and cylinders that power our lives and our passions. That's why we're the Batteryologists. We're Battery World. Battery World Shop 1, 43 Mornington Tire Road, Mornington. And now it's time for Bianca for this week's weather. Hello, it's Bianca after a break with this week's RPP weather update. Well, the weather over the last few days have been warm and it's starting to feel like summer, but those cool breezes have kept us dressed in layers. So let's take a deep dive into this week and see what it has in store for us. Today, Sunday the 26th of November should bring us a mostly wet day. We are looking at a low of 13 and a high of 19. Monday brings us another wet but warm day. We should feel a low of 12 and a high of 20. Tuesday sees the rain persisting across the peninsula. We can expect a low of 11 and a high of 20. Wednesday sees an overcast day with a low of 12 and a high of 20. Thursday also brings us clouds. We should see a low of 12 and a high of 20. Friday sees the sun popping its head from out behind the clouds, bringing us a warmer day where we will feel a low of 9 and a high of 29. And finally, Saturday sees a chance of thunder and lightning with a low of 8 and a high of 29. Well, that's all for this week. Try to enjoy the sun while you can and don't get too wet. I will be back again next week for another RPP weather update. Now to our surf guru, Muzz, with the surf report. Hey, it's Muzz back with this week's Mornington Peninsula Surf Report. Um, had a pretty surprising uh, Sunday just gone with a mega swell popped up. It was only a one day wonder, but there was uh, some pretty good waves to be had Sunday if you uh, got amongst it, which was good. Um, this week hasn't, the rest of the week hasn't been much chop and the week in front of us is not looking great. Although there's two little windows um, maybe Friday morning and Saturday morning where the wind's going to probably go around a bit more to the northeast um, before it either heads back to the southeast which it will on Friday and get quite strong in the afternoon with rain and so likewise on Saturday and I think we'll even get a front maybe southwesterly late um, probably on Sunday it looks pretty poor from then on next whole next week only going to be in that three foot range on the beach and pretty much onshore the whole time so uh, choices of waves is get up early Saturday or maybe Friday and have a crack other than that you're probably just going to surf uh, very average waves at best, at best. <sighs> so uh, hopefully you're getting a surf enjoy Sunset's good tonight, weather's mild, so that's one good thing. And uh, yeah, a few little windows of surf, as I said, so make the most of those windows. And that's all from our team here at RPP News, serving the community with stories that matter to you. Keep watching and do tell your friends. Bringing you the news from coast to coast across Frankston and the Mornington Peninsula, I'm Katie Sharp. See you for the next edition.